What's up guys, Bodie Davison back with another video. Um, thank you so much to everyone who keeps subscribing. The, pay, the uh, channel is growing quite quickly. Um, just to start off, make sure you go and join my Facebook group. So I'm going to build up this Facebook group. It's just going to be a free, uh, free group for anyone to join. And it's just going to be for any sort of entrepreneurs um, that are willing to, like, uh, wanting to learn from me. I'll leave that and links to my other social media down below, um, down below the video. So anyway, today's tip, away we go. So what you do, um, search out really good Shopify pages on here using that method that I've shown you many times. Just enter get yours, here's, uh, get yours here up in the search bar. And then of course it's going to come up with heaps of different shops, blah, blah, blah. Then I've found a few. now. <clears throat> here's a here's another good one here 81k you're obviously looking for high engagement but I've been over this part before what I want to show you guys is how you can go into any store um, any store like I've pulled up three stores here and find their best-selling products so how does that help you well if they've got one particular best-selling product then you know that that's a good product to market as well now this tip will annoy a lot of people, but there is a way to block this as well, which I'll show you down the track. But for now, what you're going to need is, so it's this collection slash all sort by best selling. Um, this here, I'll leave this down below the video for anyone to try out. Now, what I will tell you is when you're, so when you're doing it on, certain shops some of them will have it blocked because they're onto it um yeah you can go into your into your settings on shopify and block it but um i'll show you guys that another time but for now so you click on here click on the end away we go and then now it will show in order which is the best selling products for this uh shopify website so now we know that this is a good product and this and this it shows you all of them pretty cool trick hey and then you can go through and get product ideas or straight up copy them um, I've drop shipped these before actually they were a little bit different but um chakra sort of uh, bracelets they were called oh this is a solar system space bracelet so that's pretty cool I haven't actually seen that one before so there you go I'm getting ideas as well but um, yeah, then it's going to show in order their best selling products. This is actually the ad that I found on Facebook that brought me to their website. Um, that had a heap of engagement. So that's obviously really good. I've seen this. I've seen this. But yeah, as you guys will be seeing, you're getting all sorts of product ideas. These are pretty cool. Um, all sorts of product ideas straight off the bat. Check this out. 3D space sticker, very cool. What else have they got? This is a pretty interesting store. No wonder they're doing so well. Crazy watch, custom dragon watch, glow in the dark dragon ring. So this is a very, very good store. I didn't actually go through all this stuff before I started recording um, because I like to do it live with you guys and discover it along, you know, as we go along. Um, I've seen that before. So these guys got an a lot of cool stuff on here but yeah as as I was saying you just use that um, sort by best selling on the end so let's put it on the end of this one and BAM again see how this works very easy now we know this is their best selling hoodie um, Legend of Zelda so there'd be some copyright issues there these people are obviously taking the risk Copyright issues there. Copyright issues big time here. So I've told you guys many times that plenty of people take the copyright issues, uh, copyright risk, and that's completely on them. Um, I've also shown you that I've done that a couple of times. I don't do it now that I've built my own brand, but um, yeah, plenty of people make a lot of money. Check this out. Did this? Does this change colors, or is it just showing both colors? Um, <clears throat> But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I've seen that before. 
So yeah, all sorts of copyright infringements all over this page, as you can see, because I guarantee with 100% certainty that these guys are not meant to be selling this stuff, but there's a million of these sorts of stores all over the internet. So yeah, you got copyright all over the place. I've seen this before. I've tried to sell this before, actually, the um, LED lamps. Uh, they have all sorts of superheroes, not just Star Wars. They have Batman and um, <clears throat> other people. I might actually show you guys one time which one that I tried to sell. Didn't end up working out anyway, but yeah, you can get these and they have all different... Um, the plugs are different for around the world, so be aware of that if you're ever going to try something like that. Um, so in Australia, we have a different plug to what people in America do. And in the UK, they have a different plug... And I mean, by plug, I mean the, th the part that plugs into the wall. So be aware of that because this is what nearly tripped me up. Not that I end up selling any, but make sure you send the right type to the right place, if you know what I mean. You don't want to be sending one that has an American plug in and send it to an Australian customer because they're going to be pissed off. So yeah, anyway, this is just copyright infringement after copyright infringement. Pretty funny, hey? Death Star Grinder. So this would be for weed, I'm guessing. Let's have a look at this. Just have a look here. It is too. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this. So, yeah, imagine targeting people in the weed niche that love Star Wars. Um, see how they've got a scarcity timer. Hurry, only 11 left in stock. Yeah, right. There's plenty left on AliExpress. So all of these things are just to make you hurry up and buy. Big green buy it now button, I like that. Um, markdown price, but it's probably not even marked down. So this doesn't even make sense. $37.63, marked down from $50, and it says save $10. Whoever done this store, you need to fix that. That doesn't even make sense. Do you even do mathematics, bro? So anyway... Let's move on to the next one I pulled up. So this one's called dadsareawesome.com and then control V, paste this on there and away we go. And same deal, we're pulling up their best uh, top selling products for the website. So if you, if you obviously do this on pages that have like high traffic sources and making tons of money and the way you do that is obviously... Um, you know, like this, for instance, if this has 81,000, uh, 81k engagement, 16,000 shares, check that out, guys, that is insanity. Um, obviously, they're selling a lot of these, so what I do, click on here, let's go have a look at this, see if it's a Shopify store, I'm guessing it is, so if we just go... <clears throat> This looks hectic, this page. Too much stuff going on. Um, yeah, so just back to the main and then add this. Let's see if they've got it as well. Yep, so away we go on this store I just found as well. So go back to... Or did I just delete that? No, there it is. So if we go back and look at that, they had 81,000 engagement, right? They're obviously making money. There's no possible way that they're not making money. And um, now we know what their best seller is. So here we go. Check that out. I've never even seen these, but I guarantee they would sell well. So here's a wicked idea. But again, I'm not telling you to take copyright risks. That's on you. But I'm just saying everyone does it. Uh, look at all these copyright infringements. So... <clears throat> This is not what I would suggest. Look at this for copyright infringements. You got six in a row there. <laughs> this is, yeah, as I said, this is not what I did. I ended up finding something, uh, a winning product, and then build a brand around it. And that's what I suggest everyone does. But I just like to show you the honest truth of what's really going on. And that is plenty of people take this risk of copyright and make tons of money. It's just how it is, guys. I'm not lying. Look at it. It's right in front of your face. So look at this one. Hello Kitty shoes. So these shoes I reckon would sell really well. And obviously they do because they're on their top sellers. But yeah. 
copyright infringement, copyright infringement, copyright infringements, just galore, and they got a full store like this. So let's click out that one. I just found that one on the fly. This is giving me a pop up. Get ten off, trying to bring me back to the website. Very good pop up. Um, yeah, we didn't even look at all this stuff. So this is the top sellers on the Dads Are Awesome website. They've even got some dog tags here. Father and son, best friends dog tag. So yeah, this is all about dad stuff. And that's a very specific niche as well, isn't it? Like, there's going to be plenty of dads that love following a page like this on Facebook. And then love getting linked to the stuff and buying t-shirts and jumpers. And then there's... Um, people buying it as gifts for them or their wife or girlfriend buying it as a gift or their kids buying it as a gift. Like there'd be plenty of people in this market and then, yeah, you could go into the beer and everything that all dads typically get into the walking dad. That's pretty lame. Straight out of money. I like that. Um, then they've even got some phone cases. So they got a lot of stuff on here. A lot of stuff. And then they've even got, yeah, kids things, obviously. So, yeah, this is another way to spy on your competition, like all the videos I bring you, pretty much. But um, you will find, if you try some pages, they will have this blocked, because there is a way to block it, which I'll show you in a future video. But I just wanted to show you guys... Uh, the power of being able to sort through everyone's best selling because like we just saw on like this page back on the first page of their can we go back so this this page had some very interesting things things that stood out to me even and I've looked at a lot of products over the years so you definitely get some ideas doing this guys I like this I thought those were cool um, but yeah as I said, can be blocked on some pages, so get out of that page, go to another one. If it's blocked, uh, they'll either have something uh, just coming up with an error, or they'll have something coming up being cheeky as in uh, telling you not to go there or whatever. Or I've seen things where they, there's like a photo of people giving you the double middle, middle finger because Shopify owners know exactly what you're trying to do, so that's why they block it. And um, it's very smart because if you have a top selling product and you don't want people copying it, then obviously you don't want people sorting your best selling and knowing exactly which is your best product. So makes a lot of sense. Um, if we just pull this up again. So this is all it is, guys. You can screenshot it, but I'll leave it down below. So it's just forward slash collections, forward slash all question mark sort underscore buy equals best dash selling. But I will leave this in the link below the video. As usual, bringing that good content to you guys. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there. So, thank you very much. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found that helpful. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure you check out my social medias. So, go to the Facebook group and join that. It's going to be open to everyone. Um, yeah, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks very much. See you guys in the next video.